Hey everybody, it's Maestra. Today I'm going to show you how to type accent marks, upside down question marks, upside down exclamation marks, and the til and the ends with the tildes over them. Okay? So you may or may not know that in Spanish, oftentimes you'll see upside down exclamation marks, question marks, vowels with accent marks, and ends with tildes. In order to spell correctly, you need to know how to to type those out okay so I'm going to show you a really easy way to do that what you're gonna do is click where you wherever you see the time on your screen okay so my time is down here and now I'm gonna click the gear setting okay next I'm going to go to the left hand side and click advanced and now I'm gonna look for where it says languages and input I'm going to click that. Now I'm going to hit languages and input up here. Okay. Now down here it's talking about keyboard. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. So right now I only have the US keyboard on my Chromebook. What I'm going to do is click manage, oops, ah, what am I going to do? Click manage input methods. And what I want to do is make sure I click the U.S. International Keyboard, okay? Now, I'm going to X out of that. And now I'm going to click my time down here again. When I do that, it should say keyboard there. Click keyboard, and now make sure you've enabled the U.S. International Keyboard. When you do that, you'll see that it's checked green and it says INTL next to your time, okay? All right, so let's practice. Okay, now to actually type these guys out, I'm going to move my computer just a little bit. On your keyboard, there are two alt buttons, one to the left and one to the right of the space bar. You need to click and hold the right alt button and then whatever vowel or character you want. So if I want an O, I do that. <gasps> Look, the O happened. Okay, if I want an I, I'm gonna click the right alt button, I. Okay, maybe I want a U, click the right alt button, where is it, U. Okay, so I want you guys to go ahead and try that out. Okay. Oh. Sorry, one more thing. Let's say you're in, you're done with Spanish and you don't want to use the international keyboard anymore. A really quick way to go back and forth between the keyboards is click where you see international, click keyboard, and now you can go back to the US. And now it says US keyboard down there. Okay, hopefully that helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.